All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, so, um, basically giving you the run up here. Great. Now that's not fucking responding, you fucking asshole. Hold on one second. Thank you. Alright, so, uh, first things first, uh, this is a new custom firmware update. This is God 3. Um, basically, I'm just going to show you how to install it in this video. You can watch the review video by clicking on a link on the right hand side of the video in the middle of the video, kind of like, so if you go to the right hand side, uh, right there. So yeah, um, well, for you, it's going to be over here. But anyways, um, so... Basically, uh, this is PSP Go, as you can see, there's the clock, there's the calendar, and uh, hey look, the 13th is my birthday. So I'm going to pop this up here, I'm going to show you what firmware I'm on. You can be on official firmware or custom firmware in order to do this, uh, and it's for all the versions. Right now I'm on 6.60 God 2, and I'm just going to show you how to update this. Uh, if you want to be on... Uh, 6.20, 6.35, 6.39, or 6.60, this will have the patches for it. So I'm just going to load up USB menu here and uh, uh, cancel it out twice there. Exit this for now. And uh, let's go over to start in the computer and you're going to get your removable disk I. And you're going to open up the PSP folder and go to the game folder. Um, if you have any Bum, bum, bum. Uh, the F recovery, if you have that, delete that please. And if you have a God folder, delete that. If you don't have any of that, don't worry about it. And the file I'm going to have you download is right here. It's 6.xx God 3 updated by DJ Godman. So double click on that and open that up. If you don't have an extraction program, just right click on it and say extract all to dot dot dot. And you should see this blah 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 blah. The README, license credits, and the God XX. Uh, three updaters. So open that up. You're going to see 6.60, 6.39, 6.35, and 6.20. Now, um, there's permanent firmware and there's non-permanent custom firmware, which is just Flash custom firmware. Uh, the Flash is for PSP 2000 version 2, 3000, and Go models, and the permanent firmware is for the 1000 and 2000 version 1 models. So be sure to make sure you are using the right PSP for the right firmware or else you will brick your device. Flash firmware can be installed on the PSP 1000 and 2000 version 2. Um, if you want to install the permanent after that, you can do so. Like say you're on official firmware and it's your first time installing custom firmware, you can do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to select the firmware that you're on. So I'm on 6.60 God 2 or 6.60 official firmware and open up that folder and you're gonna see the permanent the God folder and the fast recovery so what you're gonna do is the fast recovery you can use on the permanent or the God doesn't really matter so I have a PSP go so what I'm gonna do is simply just select the God and drag and drop that into the PSP game folder and take the fast recovery and also drag and drop that into the PSP game folder if you have a 1000 or 2000 model you will take the permanent folder and drag it over and the fast recovery folder and drag that over you can choose to use the fast recovery it's not necessary on permanent but it helps out with the flash so you don't have to uh, reset your settings and all that if you have it on a 2000 version 2 3000 and go so once that's done you can exit that <clears throat> double check here we got the god folder and the fast recovery folder and the PSP game folder nothing else is needed to be done so what we're gonna do is exit that and I'm going to exit USB mode here. And what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to reset the VSH so I can use the remote joy to show you what I'm doing. Uh, let me just boot up the remote joy here, like so. Drag that a little bit bigger for y'all. Use that out. And let's plug this in real quick. Or you can not work. That's fine by me. You're an asshole, remote joy. You know that, right? So I'm going to close this, and I'm going to hit cancel, and I'm going to try this again before I fucking throw it through the window. Make that nice and a little bigger for you. 
Take fucking two. Will you work this time? Hey, there we are. Was it that hard? Okay. So again, we'll go over here and check our system settings. And go down to system information. You can be on 6.60. It'll say version 6.60 if you're on official firmware. Or you can be on custom firmware 6.60 uh, Pro B9 or uh, ME 1.4 or God 2. It doesn't matter. You can update from any firmware you choose. Now, I have realized that from ME, if you update to God, um, there is an error where it says the custom firmware is Pro B9 uh, for God 2. That's because God is based off that, but it's a combination of both firmwares. So um, don't worry about that. Just reinstall the firmware again, and it should change. So what we're going to do is go to the system storage here. There's the fast recovery, and here's the updaters. So you should see that on your PSP Go. Um, so I'm going to start that up. I'm going to unplug this real quick so I can show you what's going on inside the game when we get there. <clears throat> if you're using Remote Joy, also another problem, it's not going to boot up the game. But uh, unplug it, and then when the game boots, plug it back in and it'll work fine. And here's what this says. Custom Firmware by DJ Godman. Uh, 6.xx God 3 installer. Use it at your own risk. Press X to launch the God. Uh, bum, bum, bum. let's see the Pro B firmware removed all the uh, contents uh, now it is clear and open source firmware it is not violating the Pro B's GPL license read more at license.txt press X to launch it press triangle to uninstall it and press R to exit use it your own risk I am not responsible for anything that happened to your PSP thanks license under bin press software Closed source license and creative commons. CC. Hmm. Copyright 2011 DJ Godman. So press X to launch the custom firmware. So you're going to hit X. It's going to do all that fun flashing shit. And you're going to hit. You're going to unplug that real quick. And I'll plug it back in. And of course, it's not going to work. So hit X to boot. No reboot required. So you're going to boot your custom firmware like so. Plug this bad boy back in there, and if you come over here in system settings and go down to system information, you will see 6.60 God 3 for your custom firmware, as you can see right there. And also, uh, once you're done with your settings, I'm going to show you how to do some shit here. You run into the recovery menu real quick. Holy fuck, that's very weird when it does that. Uh, configuration and all this shit get that shit up to where you want to configure it to and we'll go back here and then what you're just gonna do is once you're done with your settings and everything use the fast recovery and it's basically like it'll take all your settings for the custom firmware and set it up and the custom firmware IPL which is installed and you don't even need the updater at all you just use the fast recovery and it'll go right back to custom firmware if you have to reboot your device so Thanks for watching. I will have the link in the description below this video for you for 6.60 God 3 custom firmware for your PSP. All models 6.20, 6.35, 6.39, and 6.60 official firmware or custom firmware updater. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the firmware. And again, like I said in the beginning of this video, you will see the note on the side with a link to the review. So. Enjoy, guys.